grounds, more than four grounds, and I've really tried hard to find a setting on it. I can't, it's just not working. I haven't done a video in ages. Life is different, life has changed, which is good. I haven't done a video in ages because when I feel unsettled about life, I stop making videos. And I'm really missing <laughs> auto assembly because I'm doing so much other stuff. I'm completely not on the, it's three weeks to auto assembly. Three weeks is a thing that I look forward to so much. And I'm not thinking about it at all. It's just not in my consciousness. It just feels like it's a thousand miles away because I'm working and working and working and the work I'm doing is amazing. Um, oh, so, so good. The work that I'm doing is there's this guy, he's got this house and it's an old house from like, it's built in 1920. There's this whole story behind it, survived the war. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm redecorating it. He's had every room replastered. He's had loads changed. He's had fireplaces fitted and I'm painting the house and sanding all the floors and making them beautiful and varnishing them and I'm doing it and I'm sanding this floor and it looks just superb I gave it a really good wash today and it was wet it just went really dark and all blended in nicely together and it's amazing but I'm super tired and it's been mega hot and we're running behind on it because other people not because of us but it means that everything's going on and everything's different and everything's crazy so I haven't done anything with regards to robots at all recently and that's just sort of the way it is. The other thing that I have been doing, um, I'm just going to tell you about it. <laughs> I met a girl. <laughs> I'd actually, I've had conversations in the last six months with the young man that I live with. It doesn't, that sounds weird. It's not weird, but Alex, who's the landlord of the house. We're house buddies. It's really, really good. I really like living three years it's our three year anniversary in um on the first of august of me living in the house which is great because this house has, has absolutely definitely changed me um and just stuff and things and i met a girl and i've just spent the last month of her i've just spent the last month of her or talking to her or just doing that sort of stuff and I've had a little rearrange and I've bought one or two bits and I've finished off Stu's Grimlocks, which can be sent next week because I'm going to show Sarah them before they go. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I met a girl who I've played hockey with for the last year and I've known her really well for absolutely ages and we've always got on really, really well and there was never anything in it at all. We just got on really well and she's so good at playing the game. She skates amazingly. And now I'm going to get all gushy, but I've, the reason the reason me and Sarah are friends is because she came to a ladies' hockey training session, the first ladies' hockey training, which was a long, long, long time ago, a year ago, just before the league was going to kick in, just after the league was going to kick in. Anyway, so there's this fucking crazy girl, big frizzy fucking hair and massive shorts and <laughs> it should look kooky but she just went out and skated and skates like I do which sounds like a terrible thing to say but she's just really good so I said you should come to Panthers training which is my hog team she did she came for a couple of sessions she felt a little out of place for a little while and then she sort of relaxed and started whacking a few people because she does ice and basically she started whacking me. So me and her have kicked the shit out of each other with glee on our faces for the last 12 months and it's not meant anything. And all of a sudden it just it just came to be that we just talked and talked and talked and more. And I actually said to her one day, you and me thought of things, sister, we should go out and do something. And we did. Within like three days we went out and just did something and I've not stopped seeing her since. So I've not done anything transformery. I've not done anything robot-y. Um... I've been desperately trying to, like, sort out. I've been desperately trying to sort out the collection because Sarah's going to stay here tomorrow night, which isn't that much of a big deal. I've stayed around hers loads of times. She's been to the house before and all that sort of stuff. But I live in a room with hundreds of transformers everywhere. And I've just slowly packed them all away and just left some stuff out. And now I feel like the stuff that I've left out is just the wrong stuff. And there's DVDs everywhere and I don't, I don't have enough space to live. And that may change soon, very soon. Um, 
everything's going on. Everything's going on. Everything's mental. I'm going to be 41 next month. I'm going to be 41 next month. Do you know how many times I've said that? And I didn't realise. I didn't realise I didn't give a shit. But when the first of this month kicked in, I just sort of sat there and I thought to me, I'm going to be 41 next month. And saying next month took it from, I'm going to be 41 one day in a million years to I'm going to be 41 in a measurable time by a phrase like next month. I'm going to be 41 next month. Devastator is out and available to buy. And I kind of want it. And at the same time, I just don't kind of want it. How can I, how can I feel so confined by all the stuff that I sit around me all the time, which always kept me company, and now I want to get rid of it, and I don't know where to get rid of it to. But I don't want to get rid of it. I want to keep it around me, but I don't want to get rid of it. I'm a human quandary. I haven't done a video in ages, and I just, there's lots, there's some, as you can tell, there's some stuff that I had to fucking say. One of the things she likes about me is my collecting. Because I do these, she's been watching these videos for a little while. I never really twigged at that either. Fuck, such a fucking novice. I got home from work at five o'clock. I had a very little sit down on the bed and thought, oh, I'll sit down with a cup of tea. And then woke up at quarter to nine, half past eight, quarter to nine with a cold cup of tea. And I hadn't done anything and I hadn't eaten and there was loads of stuff that I wanted to do tonight and I've not done any of it. Not not one bit of it, I've actually. I've done, I've literally done nothing. You are all awesome, the Transformers Collectors Community, Transformers YouTube Community. <laughs> that, do you know that's how tired I am? I've never got that wrong. You're all awesome. It's all good fun. Just keep it trucking. It's fine. Stu's back. Stu can fucking dig in with the page for a little while. And I'm just going to work my ass off and, and change my entire life around in no time at all. <laughs> See how it's funny. See how I laugh. Ah, 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 ah.